Hey, what's happening everyone? This is Yummy Mesh. Welcome back to Pokemon Snake Woods. Yes, I know. I know I've it's been a week. I apologize again. Let's just let's just battle people, okay? Before you guys kill me. No, uh, this is Yummy Sir, the one who's been causing so much trouble. Oh, these bad guys, I'm gonna kick the ass. <gasps> it's famine! Alright, hey, it looks like I've been going the right way the whole time. Beautiful. I see, you must be the one who defeated my sister and ruined our demon invasion in the West. Yeah, demons, okay. This should be like a horror film. I've been watching a lot of bad horror films lately, by the way, but I'll get into that in a little bit. I don't know, I lost my memory when you guys destroyed my town. Who are you, what do you want, and where's my brother? So many questions, foo foo foo, it really is you, I never thought you'd survive that attack. Well, you came to the right place, he was here once, he discovered my little pet. And would have defeated it had we not captured him and his friend in time. Is he like uh, in a cell, in a cage? Is he, you like put, put him on a lead or something? Uh, you always were funny when angry. Lord Gravitrick always used to like to say so. Uh, Alicia is going to try and destroy me and Famine's going to incredibly slowly get away. But I'm so useless that I can't catch him. Sorry, Yemi, but orders are orders. Instead of stabbing you and actually killing you like I should do, we'll have a Pokemon battle, because that's the way to settle things. Like in most animes that have... <laughs> is how they settle things. For example, in Beyblade. Oh, you did something really bad? Ah, uh, instead of sending you to jail, let's Beyblade battle. Oh, in Yu-Gi-Oh! The scene where Joey gets attacked um, in uh, the, the Kaiba thing, uh, I don't know, by that uh, the Exodia guy. Instead of uh, beating him up and stealing his red eyes uh, straight away, he battles him in a Yu-Gi-Oh battle, beats him with Exodia, then beats him up and steals his red eyes with his gang. It's like, what kind of a world is this? Anyway, uh, did he use Protect? I think he used Protect. We'll try that again. There we go. I should, yeah, did a lot of damage right there. Now, luckily, um, I'm going to get through this pretty easily. Oh, fucking Detect. There we go. Luckily, uh... Giga Wolf's part dark, so that wasn't a problem. He's gonna send up Bennett. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's uh yes, we'll use bite on that. Oh shit! Well that didn't go as planned, did it? Alright, what's that guy of all? Freaking sandstorm. Sandstorm takes up so much time, we'll just go with psychic. There we go. Beautiful! Beautiful. Uh Duskull. Well, we'll keep the sound use psychic. Uh okay, didn't use a dark move, thank god for that. I would have taken a ten of damage. Ten turn sneasel. Oh, this is bad, right? Uh, I kind of want to swap out now. My team isn't looking as strong as I had hoped. So what we're going to do is we're going to send up Quillfish. And then we're going to go into the bag and use a revive. I should have some of those laying around somewhere. Unless I already used it, which I may have. Okay. We'll actually go down and use a... Uh, where's a super potion? No, there it is. One super potion. We use the one super potion on Gardevoir. Seems faint attack. Did decent damage. Um... Okay, and now I'm going to use, uh, let me just scroll back up, a uh, Pseudopop on Quillfish. Now I should be able to take an additional attack. Sandstorm's actually doing all the work for me. Uh, next I'm going to go and use, I don't, I don't know if bugs, I don't even, I don't even know, we'll just use Headbutt. There we go, I did decent damage. Uh, I'll let Quillfish faint, I don't particularly care about him. Now we're going to send out, huh, I think Ninetales may faint, but whatever, we'll send out Ninetales anyway. Let's try and get a Will-O-Wisp on. There we go, that's beautiful. Now quick attack. And it's going to die from the Sandstorm. And if not the Sandstorm, it would have died from the burn. So that went good. Okay, that wasn't that hard, actually. I think I think she's lost for words right now. Thanks for your money. You could have just, like, beat me up. Actually, no. She would have had to have a weapon, because I'm a big, buff dude. J Jake, I'm a ten-year-old kid. I knew it, you always were better than me. Alicia, what is all this? Why does everyone know me? Who are you, really? I'm just so popular and so cool. Uh, perhaps I ought to tell you after. Go on. Uh, I need to think about this. We've all worked so hard to make this attack real. And then she runs away. God, I'm so shit. Everyone just gets away from me. Why did, why did I chase them? <laughs> Every time I meet someone, there are just more mysteries piling up. I have to get to the bottom of this and find my brother. And for that, I'll need to find Famine and Alicia, who both just ran away from me incredibly slowly, but I suck. Oh, why do I just stand there? Okay, I've been reading the comments section then on the last video. And uh, one comment says, Yami, go back and fight the ogre. You go to the blue guy, far right down, and repeat on every edge. So I'll do that. And um, Yami, if you go uh, south of the desert, you'll find a camping area full of people and a health bag. 
Also, you need to go to the mountain where that one guy is standing so you can battle him. He's the troll and if you win against him, you'll get an EXP share, which will be pretty helpful on your battledom. So thank you guys. Uh, so what we're going to do... It's firstly, I have no idea what's going on anymore. Oh, it's the Pokathone, okay. Hi, you're a Pokathone tracker. Come out for welcome to the I was underground, very deep underground. There were Mad Men and Orange Aid. There's a fan. No, it wasn't. I'm in the desert where my brother supposedly discovered something. I've just met Famine and the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, and they got away because I'm the shittest frickin'. <laughs> I'll tell you to keep searching, but I have a request. Okay, uh, yep. I've been contacted by the good people of the Mountain Monastery. What the hell is this shit? Uh, you've lost your memory, right? Yeah, I think we established that like 10 years ago. The monastery was... Well, I wasn't even born then. Was built on the site of Laveridge Town after Laveridge was destroyed by a volcanic eruption. Go there and tell a guy called Sage Kanzaki. Is this Naruto now? Okay then, what's this about, by the way? All in good time. Don't worry, it shouldn't be anything you can't handle. Alright, anyway, let's do what I was doing. So we're going to the south of the desert to find a camping area full of people and a health bag. So I need to go get this health bag. And we're just going to run away from all the level 25 monsters, or p monsters Pokemon, because not going to get much experience off these guys. Here it is. Uh, can I dodge this guy? Yes, I can. Health back. Okay, let's dodge him. And we are going to train up Mr. Grinchy, because Mr. Grinchy is a little getting a little behind the other two Pokemon. So let us uh, battle with you guys. Hey. I start the fires in this camp. Oh, great. He starts the fires. He's going to have fire Pokemon. I sent out Bal... Uh, no, not Baldum. Freaking Grinchy. Breloom. Shit. Oh, man. I screwed up here, didn't I, guys? Although, Mr. Quillfish is going to have a hell of a time against this Mikago. As long as I don't take too much damage. All right, fine with the double team. Let's just speed this up a little bit. Let's go with a Surf. And it hit. And there we go. Wow, that was way too easy. Man, type advantages just give you a huge, 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 huge uh, advantage. Hence the hence the name type advantage. But whatever, just ignore what I said. Let's continue. When's this Quillfish ever going to evolve anyway? All right, 2v2. Uh, we'll just have Quillfish and... Um, uh, I guess we could send out Ninetales. Uh, actually, no, Ninetales is really useless right now because I screwed it with the evolution. We'll just send out Quillfish. Grinchy and Quillfish. I, I plan on replacing Ninetales pretty soon, unless I find some uh, TMs with strong fire moves in, at least like a flamethrower or something. Uh, apparently I wasted my Firestone. Uh, I read a comment that said um, in, in, about my secret egg, or is it mystery egg? Basically it evolves into, uh, I don't know if it's mystery into secret or secret into mystery egg, but it evolves. Then it evolves again into I think an ultra egg or some bullshit. And then when it gets to that stage, you give it one of the uh, stones, the Firestone, Thunderstone, Waterstone, and it evolves it into like an Entei, a, um, is it Reiku? So it turns into a legendary Pokemon. Let me actually do something while I keep blabbing on. Um, actually, no, Baldum's Steel. I don't even know if that's going to do much damage. Actually, this is pretty bad. Uh. Yeah, so my egg is in the uh, PC right now. I probably would have been best off putting him in like a daycare. Yeah, I didn't think that would do much damage. That was silly. I, I might have to swap out to, uh, I guess, Ninetales if I have Ember, which I think I do. But, um, yeah, uh, I plan on training this egg up eventually. It's just going to take a long time because the egg takes ages to level up. I mean, the experience gain on that thing is so slow. It's it's pretty ridiculous, really. Uh, anyway, um, I should use Mega Drain on Horsey because I'm being stupid. And then regarding uh, Mr. Quillfish... This should do regular damage, right? Yeah, I did regular damage. Okay, that's cool. Breloom use takedown. Breloom is the biggest... I mean, not Breloom. Like, why do I keep calling Baldum Breloom? Baldum is the biggest troll Pokemon ever, by the way. When I tried to catch him off screen uh, a little while ago, he, all, he was level 10 and all he uses is, is takedown. And his catch rate is like, I think, 3% or something really low. So it's like 1 in 30... Uh, chance of catching this guy. Uh, let me use a... Uh, God, none of this... Actually, Rock Smash should, should do some damage, and then we'll use Surf. So his catch rate is really low, and all he uses is Takedown, which damages himself. So you get him down to red HP, so you can have a chance of catching him. Then he uses Takedown like two or three times, and he's dead. And and it takes way more than two or three balls, balls to uh, catch the guy. So you need to put him to sleep, and it was a nightmare. It took me around five or six... Um, 
op well, occasions doing it. I had to keep resetting my uh, my game to do that. Uh, look, kid, if you don't want to join the army, then at least give us some kind of quote for our report. Uh, wow, they haven't been paid. All right, sure. Uh, your feelings about our battle, short and sweet. Wow. All right, sure. Um, okay. Is that what I'm going to type? Okay. Oh. Uh, oh, you can't even type it in. It just gives you loads of words. Oh, can I just not type this shit in? Oh my god. Alright, I'll give I'll give my feelings. I'm gonna say it was boring. Good job, guys. Can I can I go now? <laughs> That's pretty poetic. Well, they didn't even take offense to it. I was gonna put easy if it would let me, but I guess not. Alright, let's battle this guy now. Oh, we'll get speed up. We're taking a long time doing this shit. Uh, look, sure, yeah, that's pretty scary, actually. Let's go with Mega Drain. Yeah, I'll just keep using Mega Drain, and we should win this battle. I fell asleep somehow. I don't know why. There we go. Level 34. Beautiful, beautiful, and beautiful. Now we're going to swap Quillfish out, because Quillfish needs experience, and when we fight the white wild Pokemon, uh, I'll have a huge type advantage, and it'll be very easy experience for my Quillfish, since I just face Sand Shrews, apparently. So now we want to go fight the Ogre, so we go to the blue guy, and then fire right down and repeat on every edge. So we need to find a guy who's blue, apparently. Let's do this shit. And we'll just keep using Surf every time we fight something. Uh, la 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 la, using Surf. Actually, these things give shit experience. I can't even run. God damn it. Um, alright. Did I miss? What? One sec. Yeah, what am I missing? Screw that shit. That was a waste of... There we go. That was a waste of points. Uh, that guy's not blue. There he is. So how do we get up there? Blue guy. Where's the guy who's blue? No. Aha. Uh, I guess we just climb the mountain then, right? Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. All right, this guy's the ogre, right? He looks like a, he looks like a mad scientist to me, if I'm going to be honest. So I'm Gardevoir because I'm a little worried. Oh ho, another foolhardy adventurer. I shall defeat thee with all the power of a troll. Yes, he is a troll. Or an ogre, whatever he, whatever he is. Same thing, really, I would think. Wow, he is blue. Shit. God. The hell? It looks a bit like uh, the genie from Aladdin, wouldn't you say? Okay, it's Golbat. God, he's got a big tongue, hasn't he? Oh my god. I wonder, I wonder all the activities Golbat could do with that tongue. I bet he's good at certain things, if you know what I mean. Anyway, let's speed that. Lanoon, uh, it's just a little beaver thing. Let's use Psychic. There we go. That, okay, that was way too easy. God, he has no money. That was a waste of time. All right, so what do I get for beating this guy? I have a giant bag that holds many more poke. Oh, really? Oh, shit. He's going to progressively get harder and kick my ass, isn't he? All right, that was easy. I still have more. Oh, God's sake. Ugh. Psychic's just really OP. So we'll just keep using it. Getting some tons of experience right now. That Humbone is like the most common Pokemon ever. This is not possible. I am a great and noble troll. Thou hast not the power to defeat me. And now his best. Okay. I'm a choke. Oh, I don't mean to use that. There we go. That was so easy. Carnivore is like the most OP non-legendary Pokemon. Well, she's not, but she's really OP. One of the most OP Pokemon I've ever used. Since you have beaten me, the troll of the desert, I shall confer upon you this useful item, Brain Link. Isn't that pretty much just an EXP share? Yeah, okay. We are giving that to Baldum, definitely. All right, Baldum, you're actually going to get some experience now. How do you feel? Baldum, Baldum. That's good, Baldum. I'm happy for you. Okay, now we need to go somewhere. I uh, guess we can just leave the desert, right? Yeah, let's just go. Da, 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 da. We need to um, go to a certain place where a volcano erupted or some bullshit. So let's heal the team. And do we still not have a map? Because I wish we did. I would love to have a map right now to find out where I'm supposed to go, but I don't. Um, I've already been in there. Okay. I don't even know if I'm supposed to stay in this desert or if I'm supposed to go somewhere else. Or where the hell I'm supposed to go anyway. But you know what? I guess we can always just run around and see what happens. Wish I had some more repels. Which I might do, actually. Oh, God. These trap inches are annoying because I can't even run from them. Do I have any repels? Let me double check. 
Um, uh, please say I do. No, I don't. I'm gonna have to buy some of those in the Pokemart. Uh, I don't know why I put on an accent there. Hey, I can go this way. Hey, beautiful! I didn't even know I could go this way. Uh, I should not. Sorry, I skipped the text. I know you guys hate it when I skip text. I apologize about that. I won't do that again. All right, Baldum hit level 11, and we're just gonna constantly use Psychic because the move is OP. And Baldum hit level 12. Posh guy says this don't even hit but there. Yeah. All right. Okay, let's face this lady. I need to train so I'm strong enough to get to Duford. Duford, okay. Uh, you know what? Let's uh, give experience to someone else. I suppose Giga Wolf is OP already, but I don't see anything wrong with constantly using Ice Punch. There we go, that was easy. And Baldum hit level 13. Hey, he's gaining experience real quickly. Alright, what does this say? Mount Chimley. Ah, that's exactly where I need to go. I wonder what Pokemon are in this place. Oh god, not those things. Oh god, is, it, is that it? It's just Hombones in this gr Oh god, you're not screw that grass. I definitely don't want anything in there. Alright guys, well I'm gonna end this part here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna really do, uh, do try to upload more. I, I can't even, you know, I can't even make excuses or anything. Because I'm just gonna say I've just been very lazy. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's, that's the only reason. I'll do my best to do more. And um, I won't make any promises because usually I just end up breaking them. But I will do my best. So guys, thanks for watching this part of Pokemon Snakewood. So far we're making some good progress. Um, my main character needs to learn to not lose people constantly because he sucks. But so far so good. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all again very soon. Goodbye everyone.